hello welcome to our youtube channel welcome to our youtube channel good morning thank you for stopping by i really do appreciate you please if you're just stopping by for the first time please consider clicking the subscribe button if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you so much i really do appreciate you all thank you um i said we should pause a little on our spiritual this spiritual that because we also need health. Yes, we need health to enjoy our wealth. And the only person I know that gives these two things is God Almighty. Yes, when he gives you wealth, he gives you health to enjoy it. You are blessed. Be grateful to God. Please, I pray, if you know you're having an, any medical condition, do not self-medicate. Go find out from the hospital first. Run a test to know what it is. So that even if you decide to use a um, herbal remedy to treat whatever it is, you will know what you are treating instead of guessing. Yes, may anyone believe in God for healing in any aspect of their life, may God Almighty step into their case. Sometimes some people will tell you that, oh, some persons are living recklessly when it comes to their health. They eat everything they want. They smoke. They do this. And they are fine. But some persons try to be careful and all that. And at the end of the day, they, they still get one of the, uh, whatever ailments. You understand? Now, everything in life is by the grace of God. Not saying these things are what help us. There are two things that help us. Our lifestyle and above all God. So don't look at people that live anyhow, take things, and you say, oh, this person is, don't do that. Thank you. This morning, I want to talk about um, universal remedy. I call it a universal remedy because by the grace of God, it helps in so many things. A woman that is believing God for the fruit of the womb can try this. Um, this also helps to shrink, to shrink fibroid. This also helps to prevent, you know they say prevention is better than cure in most cases. This also helps to prevent uterian fibro, uh, sorry, uterian cancer. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. It's now somehow in my ear. Uterian cancer, uterus, manage me like that. So how do you prepare this for this? You will be wondering, the video topic will say men and women. I want the men also to come in here and listen because most cases you have sisters, you, your wife and all that, friends, female friends. You can share the video with them. We, cancer of the uterus is very dangerous and most, some, most women these days are suffering from it. Now, start doing something by the grace of God to prevent this thing. It can only be God, remember. Get this is clove. I will list the items in the description box. This is clove, these are lemon, and this is prekis. Prekis, um, the Yorubas call it Aidon prekis, and then you get a ginger, some ginger. Now, get five of this, four of this lemon is okay, and then clove of this quantity then some ginger what are you going to do wash all the ones that needs to be washed like this get a pot then five liter of water add all the ingredients together the prickies the lemon the clove and ginger add everything together and boil it for like 20 to 30 minutes boil it for like 20 to 30 minutes now if you are taking it, it's good generally for women to take it. Sometimes we wait till then we begin to treat ourselves and all that. No, these are natural and harmless remedies. You understand? However, if you are on any prescription by your doctor and all that, con consult with your doctor before you take any um, herb or whatever. You understand? Now, for this also help to shrink fibroid. Yes. How do you use it to shrink fibroid? If you can take this consistently for at least, let's say, two weeks in a month for fibroid shrinkage, how do you take it? A glass cup in the morning, a glass cup lasting at night. 
take it consistently and you will notice a drastic change and reduction then how do you use it for if you're believing god for the fruit of the womb you can use this a day after your period you start taking it it helps cleanse the uterus make it comfortable for conception that is if you have gone medically to find out it's not for your husband as a woman and all that and you have done all you could this has helped some people by the grace of god to conceive you start taking this a day after your period take it for four days then you stop because of ovulation ahead you understand take it for four days do this consistently if if it's uh, you didn't get your results that month try it the next month you understand now for uterian um, cancer or whatever same way you take it in a month take it for one week one glo uh, glass cup in the morning one glass uh, glass cup at night lasting at night after your meal first thing in the morning you understand then this also ladies is not just for those that have this um either of this fibroid um believing god why don't you make this a habit a day after your period take it for three days as a lady to help cleanse you of whatever that needs to be cleansed in your system you understand take it for three days a glass cup in the morning glass cup at night now like i said do not replace this with medical advice no this is not intended to be replaced with medical advice consult your doctor however like gloria cheesy oh we always say use your brain you understand then if you are taking this remedy you f you don't you feel discomfort or whatever don't continue discontinue you understand try this and by the grace of god whatever it is you believe in god will surely be a, a thing of the past thank you so much i really do appreciate you all it's no other person but gloria cheesy oh thank you